So today's video is going to be a short video on your expenditure and your elasticity and factors that influence elasticity of demand. So without further ado, let's get started. So pretty much all you need to know for your expenditure and your elasticity is that when the price changed, the change in your spending or your expenditure depends on your elasticity of demand. So what does this mean? This really only concerns three points. So if your demand is elastic, a 1% price cut increases the quantity you buy by more than 1% or 1% and your expenditure or spending on the item increases. And the idea of this um, in, uh, in everyday life terms is you can think of it like this. So we have a demanding product, right? So if we have a demanding product and the and the price falls, then uh, then this is a once in a lifetime chance. So once in a lifetime chance. So what we do is we overspend. We overspend now, so we won't be at a loss. So we won't be at a loss when the price rises again. When the price rises again. And that's pretty much the idea behind this first point is that when there's a price cut for a demanding item, for an elastic item, uh, we will want to buy that item, overspend it now, so we won't lose out when the price rises again. The next point is, if the demand is inelastic, a 1% price cut would increase the quantity you buy by less than 1% and your expenditure on the item decreases. So really the idea here is that you spend less for a price drop. Perhaps an item that has limited amount of days. So perhaps an item that has a limited amount of days until it goes bad, until it goes bad. So for example, uh, milk would be this uh, an example of this item and yeah in this case you would buy the same amount you would buy the same amount but now you spend less so when the price cuts you buy the same amount and you spend less so that spending on that item decreases and milk and um, food are good examples of this kind of uh, this kind of expenditure and uh, in, in elasticity so the last point is, if your demand is unit elastic, a 1% price cut increases the quantity you buy by 1%, and the, your expenditure on the item does not change. So pretty much what we got, we, what we have here is, it's cheaper. You can buy more. You can buy more, but the amount you spend is still the same. Still the same. So really. Uh, going through this again, the general idea is if we spend more in an item when its price falls, then our demand for that item is elastic. If we spend the same amount, then our demand is unit elastic. And if we spend less, then our demand is inelastic. And that's all you need to know for your expenditure and your elasticity. Now, factors that influence elasticity of demand, I'm just going to uh, give you the give you the points here and I'm not gonna really go into details because they're pretty self-explanatory. So the elasticity of demand for a good really depends on three points and it really depends on uh, closeness of substitute. So the closeness of substitutes, uh, the proportion, the proportion of income spent on, on the good, and the time elapsed, the time elapsed since a price change and these are three points that I think are pretty self-explanatory on um, on how a, how the elasticity of demand for a good uh, changes according to these three points and yeah this is all I want to teach you for this video um, please come back for the next video because we'll be doing something pretty much the same I guess we'll be doing closeness of substitutes and some other crap but other than that please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching